I think there are two different conversations that are going on with startups. There's a conversation for investors and employees, and that's primarily driving a lot of the positioning and the presentations that I'm seeing. And then they're taking that and they're forking that and they're saying, oh, this is how we're going to talk to our customers about it. But in my mind, they're two completely different conversations. How you sell to investors should be completely different to how you sell to customers. A lot of AI tech startups, the reason why AI is in the name is because they want to attract the VC funding. Okay, that's fine. But it doesn't mean that you have to take that and position that in front of your customers with AI. And I, I think that's a mistake that I'm seeing quite a bit. They're trying to capture the hype train. But to your point, AI might actually be a detriment to you when you're going to sell. So I would actually reframe that and say, does your customer even need to know that it's powered by a large language model at all? I don't think so. I think that as you're selling AI, you should think about how a movie producer thinks about incorporating sound into their final movie. A great movie has an amazing soundtrack. But when you're in the movie, you're not thinking about that soundtrack. You're not selling the movie on the soundtrack. Oh, come see Braveheart. It has an amazing soundtrack. Nobody cares about that. People care about the story, the entertainment. And then after the case, they're like, wow, you know, part of that oh, an amazing soundtrack. I got to get that CD. Titanic, right? Like, you're not in there like, oh, this is like, oh, Celine Dion's amazing here. No, you're enjoying the story and the soundtrack is part of the experience. I think that many companies can benefit from that framework. You want to sell a great experience to your customer.